I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her. Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Nature Below G, often imitated, never duplicated, bringing you the best on feats in the game. Yo, before we move forward, go ahead and make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. It does a lot for the channel. It's help me out, whatever. Go ahead and do that, don't play yourself. And let's go ahead and get into this video. So, in today's video, it's pretty much like a discussion. I've seen this somewhere, but I thought like, shit, let's go ahead and do a video on it. And what we want to talk about right now is, what one got to go. Yo, which one got to go? You just saw all four pairs right there, and we're going to discuss it. Man, now this is going to be like a tough pick. All of these joints are OG colorways. They just did a shot drop on these joints, so I definitely had to bring these into the fold with the conversation. Let's talk about it. We're going to take everything over to the table and talk about it, man, which one's got to go. But before we go there, let's go ahead and talk right here up close and personal, me and you face to face, eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? And let's talk about it. So out of all these OG colorways, you know what I'm saying? Out of the ones that I just showed, which one got to go? Which one are you feeling the most? Which one are you not feeling? Man, it's crazy. So let's go ahead. Let's discuss which shoes am I talking about? You know what I mean? Then we're gonna then we're gonna go to the table. Alright, so boom. The Jordan 5, right? This is the shoe that he wore when he was losing to those bad boy pistons. Obviously, you're definitely gonna see that on uh, The Last Dance. I think this Sunday coming up, uh, that those episodes are gonna talk about, you know, his battles with those Pistons, you know what I mean? Straight crazy, you know what I mean? Yo, but this shoe right here, so fire. I'm not sure what the actual release date is for this. The shock drop did happen. Um, you know, I've had my pair for a while now. But yo, this pair right here, super clean. Uh, they said this is like, as close to the OG pair as you're gonna get as far as like with that color, you know, that height, you know what I'm saying, that cut, all, all of that, all of that. That's that one. The next shoe that we're talking about that made the cut of which one's got to go is, boom, the Jordan 6. Now you already know that the Jordan 6 is gonna make it, you know, being my favorite Jordan, you know what I mean, of all time. My favorite Jordan silhouette. Well, one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. This definitely had to make it. I didn't put the Jordan 1 in this because I definitely didn't want to be biased because you already know how I am. If you watch my videos, you know how I am with those Jordan 1s, you know what I'm saying? Being from Chicago with the Jordan 1 is just notorious, you know what I'm saying, for me. But the Jordan 6 also, this is the shoe that he wore when he got his first championship. You know, this is the shoe that he wore when he finally defeated the bad boy Pistons and then got that chip, you know what I'm saying? I think playing against uh, LA, his first uh, championship, you know, super fire, super dope. I love this silhouette. I'm glad they brought these back out. This pair does have Nike on the back, you know what I'm saying? That part, you know what I mean? One of my favorite shoes, definitely a great colorway. And they brought back, you know, that red, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't too light like the infrared pair that came out before this pair. Yeah, I can't remember what year that was. I think it was, it had to be a while ago. Like maybe, I think like, maybe like 2012 or, or 13 or something. Cause I know I bought my son a pair. I didn't buy me a pair, I bought my pair a little bit later. But anyway, that's that. The next shoe is the Jordan 4. You know what I mean? Nike Air on the back, this released recently. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not really a Jordan 4 fan, you know what I mean? And I know you looking like, yo, what's up with all these bread colorways? I mean, it just popped up two bread colorways, it is what it is, you know what I'm talking about? So, yo, Jordan 4, you know what I mean? It is what it is. This is a dope shoe to me, you know what I'm saying? The lifestyle, like, it's crazy. One of my favorite things about this shoe is not even the shoe itself, it's more so the commercial. You know what I mean? Those Spike Lee joints, fire. Uh, obviously, from Do The Right Thing, this is not the colorway, it was the Submit colorway, but you know, from the movie Do The Right Thing, when uh, old boy, the Boston Celtics fan, ran over my man's shoe with the tire, and almost got, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if that happened in those days, man, if it happened today, I'm gonna have to break my foot off and somebody's bleep it out. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it is what it is, you know what I'm talking about? So anyway, that was the Jordan 4. And the last but not least, last but not least on which one got to go is the Jordan 11 and the red, black and red colorway. Yo, obviously, you know we would love. Yo, this shoe is the most loved shoe that Jordan, some would say. They would say, yo, it's the ones and the 11s. And that's kind of crazy. One and 11 and then one being twice over is 11, meaning the Jordan 11. 
But anyway, I, I'm doing too much. Anyway, the Jordan 11 high cut pad leather uh, has that 23 on the back. Ooh, hold on, we gotta focus. There we go. Yo, so that's the joint right there, black and red. Now this shoe, I know they produce like over like two billion pairs, and still everybody did not get a pair of these. You know what I'm saying? And they sold out like crazy. Um, yo, like wow. I actually got a friend. Uh, he's really not like super into sneakers like that just now trying to get into and he was like man I gotta get that pair and he was trying on sneakers and he struck out <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how that happened, but it did happen. You know what I'm saying? So the Jordan 11 in the black and red colorway is the fourth shoe inside the which ones got to go now this I Want to know from you like which pair? got to go Leave those comments down below which pair got to go and then at the end of the video I'm definitely gonna say which pair got to go to me. Let's take them all to the table We're gonna see all shoes right next to each other And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can break down the process of which shoe I'm going to pick and which shoe I'm not going to pick to stay. Hey, yo, this is crazy, man I, 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 I don't feel right even doing this, but let's go ahead and take it to the table. Let's go So here we go all Four Jordans are right here looking at the back of these joints now pretty much all the ones I've picked look like the OG pairs when they originally came out every shoe has Nike Air on the back except for this joint right here having the 23 there right so let's go ahead and talk about it now favorite aspects of the shoes now I guess we'll start off with the six right here now what I love about the Jordan 6 is the 3M hits right here through the, like the little holes right here obviously that red that bubble those are some of my favorite things about this shoe now these three shoes right here the six the five and the four all do have some similarities right obviously right we're trying to turn it this way so y'all can see each shoe and i probably should have got the same shoe for each one all of them do have like the air bubble right here you know what i'm saying and they all have nike air on the back you know ah man out of these three you know so out of these three man look this is this is like really tough so I know for a fact so the Jordan 6 has made it and this is why they made it I don't really care for the mesh you know like the mesh is here let me get that close I don't care for this and I definitely don't care for this if you had a pair of these over time, you know that this starts to yellow. And I know what you're thinking, like, so why you don't care for this one? You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to yellow. You know what I mean? Yo, I just, I don't know. So, I, I don't know, man. This, like, these little things right here also, like, for the laces, the little crowns right here. Yo, ah, man. Yo, this is harder than I thought it would be. Well, let's look. Oh, Jesus. I just, God, God, duh. I don't know, we're gonna take the sixes out of this. The, the sixes made it, okay? The sixes, they, they just did, okay? The colorway is just too clean for me, so the sixes gotta stay. Um, yeah, let's put this pad leather back up in here. Now, out of these three, so I guess out of these three, um, you know something? The pad leather, like, how many times do you really wear these Jordan 11s, right? Every, I mean, I, I feel like I buy them every time they come out, every year they come out. I buy a pair of 11s and I rarely, rarely, rarely wear them. You know what I mean? So the 11 just might be out. We're gonna take that 11, we're gonna put that to the side because that might be one of the ones on the chopping block, right? Oh, geez. The fours and the fives. Uh, you know something? That 3M, that 3M is just hitting, you know, for me. I definitely love the 3M tongue, them white laces, you know what I mean? the leather that actually comes on this pair you know something there we go because this shoe does have leather and this one doesn't this one made it so we're gonna take this one out of here this one made it the jordan 5 definitely made it um and now we have the jordan 4 and the jordan 11 both in the black and red colorway you know red in the tongue air jordan upside down these joints just says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. You know what I'm saying? On the tongue, you know, the 23, that Nike Air. Which pair am I gonna pick to go? And which pair has to get the hell up out of here? 
Oh man, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. But you know, it's not as tough as you might think. The biggest problem that I hate with this shoe, and this is why this one has to go, and the other one will stay, is once it's messed up, it's messed up. Ain't no getting it fixed. You know what I mean? And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe there is a way to get it fixed, but I don't know. I've never experienced or I don't never found out how to get it fixed. So this is the one that absolutely has to go. And this is the one that made it. This one right here made it. The Jordan 4 made it. Yes, the black and red Jordan 4 made it. And the one that didn't is... The Jordan 11 in the black and red colorway. This shoe has to go. And it, I can't believe I'm saying it like that. But it definitely has to go. And these are the reasons why I chose the Jordan 11. Having to get the hell up out of here. So, yo. When it's pat leather. When it's dull. Like, I've tried everything. I've watched videos on, yo, how do you clean this pat leather? How do you fix it? How do you get it shined up or whatever? I got a pair. When that pat leather got beat up, that pat leather was gone. No shine back to it. It was dull. And it just, like, messed up the whole shoe because that pat leather makes the shoe. Now, this is an amazing shoe. Definitely in the black and red colorway. I like the black and red colorway way better than the Concord colorway. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But because of that... Because I don't know how to fix this pad leather. And maybe somebody else out there knows how to fix the pad leather. I don't. So, guess what? <laughs> this shit's got to go. Get it out of here. Yo, so that was my choice. I chose to get the Jordan 11 out of here. This one definitely did not stay. Well, it's going to stay in my collection. But it just didn't make it in the battle. Definitely didn't make it. And I know that I might be a little bit biased. Because off the rip, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> the Jordan 6 has made it off the rip. You know what I'm saying? How could they not make it? Jordan's first championship. These are definitely going to make it. You know what I mean? Jordan's first championship. You know, the resistance. You know what I mean? He, he dealt with all that resistance. You know, that pulling just to get that very first one. You know, ain't nothing like the first. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like the first. The first anything. The first, your first car. You know what I mean? Your first whatever when the first is always the most special you know what i mean for like a lot of things so it's like yo you got to treat your first like your last so the first is always dope and then it's the last is always dope you know and just that's testing my personal opinion but yeah i really want to know which one did you pick which pair did you pick to stay which pair did you was like yo it got to go i really want to know what are your thoughts man i'm glad i did this video i know it's been a minute i ain't done my videos like i was doing them and that's pretty much because yeah, i be I, I you know i got essential shit to do okay you know what i'm saying i got essential things to do i'm out there on the front lines all right making it happen you know what i'm saying that part uh anyway Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to tell me which shoe did you pick. Don't forget to leave that feedback. I do have a few other videos on the way. Thanks to the subscriber that sent me the Ivy Park joints. They wanted me to review the Ivy Park joints. I'm really appreciate, appreciative to that. Um, it was kind of hard for them to contact me because they were sending me messages on Instagram. And I guess I wasn't getting them because I don't... Yeah, I didn't follow them. It was going inside my general box or some other box. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, Put an email down below so that if you wanted to contact me and let me know something, I mean, or ask questions or, or whatever. You can always ask questions on Instagram. You can leave comments or try, uh, you know, DM me. But I'm going to make an email so that you'll be able to contact me. Therefore, it'll be easier. And that email will be, like, straight for just, like, things like this for, like, YouTube. For people to actually want to contact me and ask me things or ask for favors and whatever. You know what I mean? I'll make that email. I'll put that email down below. Um, guess I could do it today. I'll try to do it today. Yo, that's it. That's all I got. I feel like I'm rambling. More videos coming. Again, thank you for sending me the Ivy Park shoe. I got a few more other videos. Just got a pickup, an off-white pickup that I did not have. And we're going to do like a versus video. And maybe I'll do an on-feet with that. Let's go. Again, thanks for the love. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting that like button. I rock with y'all. Y'all rock with me. Peace. No time soon